Hey guys, what's up? This is Credential, and today I'll be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to stream with an Elgato capture card the way I do it. There might be a lot of tutorials out, but this is the way I do it, and a lot of people have been asking me. So I recently just got the Elgato f um, from Elgato, and it just came in today. So I'm going to show you guys how, to how I stream and how I set up other people's streams from uh, a lot of Call of Duty pros, etc. So pretty much, you want to have Game Capture HD open up in the beginning. What you want to do is have it on the profile at 720 at HD 720 and have it at best. The reason for 720 usually it's at 1080 and you're playing in 1080, but that will cause gun sound lag and sound lag. So pretty much, you want to make sure it's on 720 and have your dashboard system at 720. Unless you're streaming in 1080, then you have it at 1080. But usually people stream in 720. Um, I have mine at best, but depending on your computer, you can lower it if it's causing lag, but usually it doesn't because you have this program closed. Everything else is pretty much default, so let's get into OBS, the important part of the stream. So pretty much for OBS, you want to have, uh, you want to create a scene, and your source, you want to have a, or well, first I'll do the settings. So I have my stream setting profile, you can do, you can put in whatever you really want. So for your encoding, it's going to be, quality bounce is usually going to be at 8. So you, you want to untick UCBR and put it at 10. Unless your computer can't handle it and sometimes it will cause a delay. Usually doesn't happen, but it depends on how good or bad your computer is. So if it is bad, you might want to keep it at 8. If not, put it at 10. It makes the quality 10 times better. Uh, max bitrate, it depends on your internet connection. Speed test, people can vary from 2 upload to 30 upload. If you have 30 upload, don't make your bitrate to 3000 because most people cannot view your stream because they don't have that good of internet themselves. 2000 to 2.5k should be the max and if you're partnered then 2.5k is fine because you can change it from low, medium or high, the viewer can. So mine's at 1700 which I personally like and uh, the stream quality so far I just did a test has been good. But that's the only reason, but I would put it up to 2000 but I don't know I don't see that big of a difference I might do that actually later on and everything else should be fine you can put your buffer size up by 5,000 if you really want to so whenever you have your thing if you have a 2,000 make your buffer size 2.5 uh, audio just keep the same so for your broadcast settings you want to have mode live stream twitch.tv server whichever thing is closest to you play slash pla uh, or here right here is gonna be your stream key Sorry about the stutters, but um, so you find your stream key for Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash dashboard, and it should have stream key. Click show, copy, paste. Easy. For your delay, have it at zero unless you're streaming a tournament or want to have a delay so you don't have stream joiners. You can set it to 60 seconds or whatever, so you hit apply, and then start your stream. Make sure your stream is off before you set your delay or take off your delay, or else it won't register properly. Uh, video um, base resolution 1280 by 720 if you're streaming in 720p unless you're streaming in 1080 which is 1920 by 1080 I believe but most people stream in 1280 by 720 because 720p is the common thing resolution downscale keep it at none filter uh, fastest FPS I have mine at 40 but you can go from 30 to 40 depending Audio, uh, desktop audio is default, so that means if you're playing music or anything on your desktop, your stream will hear it. So if you don't want to have that, you just hit, uh, there's not disabled, but you can just, I don't know, I don't, it just depends if you want to play music or not. I don't usually play music, but some people do. Microphone, if you have Astros, you ha you'll see an Astro, but I don't have Astros, but well, I do, but I don't have it plugged in right now. So, you just select your microphone here. Um, here's the important part right here. This is where you want to pay attention to. You might have, you're going to be, uh, once you, if you stream without doing this, you'll see complaints of saying your mic is, uh, delayed a little bit from your picture or, um, from your game. So you want to make your mic time offset at 1400 or 1500, depending. I use 1400, which seems fine, but some people say it's 1500, but hey, it's not that big a difference, but make sure you have it on one of those two options. So hit apply and go to advance. Advance should be nothing pretty much everything should be fine just very fast or here is depending on your computer if you have a really bad computer you would go to ultra fast very fast is default and if you have an amazing super PC which most people don't have you would go slower I usually do very fast or faster but right now I have it on very fast and anything else and don't mess around with that so let's see let's add in uh, 
your Elgato. So you have a scene. I added in mine, or let's just add a scene. Xbox Two. Add a scene. Add. Uh, go to right click sources. Add video capture device. Type in Elgato. You can do that if you want. I like to be organized, so I do that. Device will pop up right away. Elgato resolution will be 1280, etc. And pretty much that that's like the simplest way that you don't really have to do anything else for when you're adding in the device that's what I really like but say you have a webcam I don't have one right now so I'll show you from here when you have your webcam you'd say you'd hit device uh, say pretend that's your webcam go to video and it'll say use buffering milliseconds tick that it'll be on tick tick that and put 1400 that's the delay for your mic and how people will see your stream so you want to make sure that's ticked and have it at 1400 and after that everything else should be fine hit OK and just mess around with your microphone some people might say it's too loud so you put it down some people might say you're quiet so put it up same goes here put it down up you can mess with your in-game settings have your, if your gun sounds are overpowering your voice just go into your settings whatever game you're playing and lower it down so here we'll show the preview stream um, for pretty much to perfect your stream it's really trial and error just you just really gotta mess around with it some little things will fix it, some won't. So, really, just this trial and error, mess around with it, you'll figure it out eventually. It's not that hard. Um, just mess around with those little settings, and that's what pretty much will perfect your stream. I would like to thank Elgato for sending me this unit and letting me do this tutorial. Great support, I love the product. Uh, I love the product, how I've had it so far. It's really easy, and it's really. They set it up to where. It, it's really easy for you to record videos and upload it to YouTube or live stream, which I love. And the quality is really good for the price you get it for. So that's pretty much everything. If you have any other questions, I would answer them greatly. Just tweet me, but please watch the video first without before tweeting me. Thank you very much, and I am out. Peace.